that would have been delicious. Here's how you make the proper s'more. First things first, you want to whittle down your steady stick into a nice skewer. You could use a store-bought skewer, but then it wouldn't taste as good. We're having fun. Now to get that nice, even golden outside and ooey gooey inside, it's all in the wrist. Setting it complete. oh. A quick burn at the end caramelizes it, giving it a nice pleasant crunch. Most folks use milk chocolate, which is fine if you're a five-year-old. The marshmallow and graham cracker already have enough sweet, allowing for a darker, more bitter chocolate to be used. And that's how you make a sophisticated s'more. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. <laughs>